Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? Who will go for us? And I said, Here I am, send me. Isaiah 6 8. Hi, I'm Katie. Um, these are some excerpts from my blog, Living in the Light, which describes my internship in Juarez, Mexico this past summer, building houses with a ministry called Casas por Cristo. I've had a lot of people ask me why I'm doing this, why a 19-year-old 5'4 girl from Wisconsin would spend a summer in Mexico leading teams in construction. I've asked myself that question a lot too. We finished our second and final training build this past week and I'm continuing to learn a lot. It was interesting. It was an interesting, exhausting week overall, including a three-hour Walmart run, a cockroach-infested church, and some seriously good homemade enchiladas. The orphanage was a very po powerful experience for me. Most of the kids, most of the time, kids there just wanted to be played with and loved on, but this trip was different for me. I met an 11-year-old named girl named Gabby, who, realizing that I could understand her, wanted to tell me her whole life story. We went to a quieter part of the orphanage, and she told me her life up to that point, tears streaming down her face during parts of it. I sat, stunned and humbled, beyond belief, unable to find words in English, let alone Spanish, to express the sadness I felt for her, and my desire to help her in any way I could. The people I've met in Juarez are among the kindest, most joyful people that I know. They give whatever they can, usually in the form of a delicious, authentic meal or a genuine smile. They're some of the hardest workers I've ever seen. Although they live without a lot of things Americans would consider necessities, their gratitude goes beyond anything I've ever seen in the States. Um, so I guess I know the real answer to the question, why on earth are you doing this, is that I've been too comfortable for too long. The things that used to fill me up, like academic success, athletic accomplishments, or other people's approval, now feel empty. I'm here to serve and to be served, and to challenge myself to do things that I never thought I could.